Hello everyone, hi, welcome uh, to the Art of Rally, where uh, another weekly challenge. I decided to make this a sort of regular thing now. I enjoyed doing it last week basically and I just said, oh hey, I would like to do more of this. And you know, it didn't do as badly as other one shot videos did in the channel, so I was like, okay, well I can slot this in in the Wednesday slot and see how we get on with it. I felt like that might be a good idea, because then we still have Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday for golf. I'm like, hey, I could put up something on Wednesday and do five days a week. So, uh, the weekly challenge just starts on six days, 12 hours. I guess it rolls over at like 5 a.m. Eastern or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, uh, looking at last week's uh, time, managed to finish 107th, top 40%. Still two minutes behind the leader, but that's okay. March 14th, I'm not on the board yet, but we've got 13.36 to beat. And uh, the leader is like 40 seconds behind the next challenger, so uh, we've got a long ways to go. And the good thing about the weekly challenge in Art of Rally is that it doesn't tell you what tracks you're doing or what car you're driving until you're in the event and when when you're in the event you can't back out to practice so you really have no idea of what's coming up which I find to be which I find to be really good really beneficial oh we're in a little BMW 2002 today so we've got four stages looks like we're staying in Germany so it's gonna be tarmac so let's just let's just send this thing and uh, get it done here. Plus, it seems like it's like a nice short video to produce. You can get it all done in one take. There's no editing required, <laughs> which is always a big boon for me because I haven't I honestly I, I have a copy of Headfield and Express, so I can edit. I just don't know how to freaking use it. <laughs> Like I can, I can stitch together some like very rudimentary editing and like make like small clips out of it, but I don't know how to do like anything like super fancy or like any like cool transitions and stuff like that. So I really avoid using it for it unless I absolutely like 140% have to. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I, that's why I like doing these like quick you know, like daily challenge, weekly challenge sort of videos on YouTube is because I can just hit record, play them, hit stop and upload and then that's it. I don't have, like, all I have to worry about is like maybe writing a video deck and that's it. I don't have to go put into work, like I don't have to like play Minecraft for like four hours in order to get like 20 minutes worth of footage and then spend like two or three hours editing that down, trying to figure out what's right, worrying about audio balances and stuff. Granted I probably should worry about audio balances in this game because the exhaust sound probably floods me out right here. Which if it does by the way please let me know in the comments so that I can fix it in advance for next week. It's kind of a little bit too late to go out and fix it now. But, uh, this should be a this should be a quick enough video. As as long as the stages are quick, then the video should be quick also. Pretty mistake free first round, but you know, probably could have been faster. Eh, top thirty five percent so far. Oh my, where'd that camera? Whoa. Kinda glitching out there. Oh we got uh, oh, we've got a couple of long stages here. Coming up. As long, and we're still in Germany, so we're still in the tarmac stages. And we're in an older car, so it's a lot slower. And we have to worry about those concrete bollards on the side of the roads. So we're kind of not really going. We're not really giving it the full send. We're giving it like the three quarter send. I'm sure it's just racking up end game mileage, which I think there's an achievement for as well. So it gives me an excuse to come back to a game that I genuinely enjoy playing. That's that's more or less the reason why I'm doing this. Like, 
Like, there's times when I'm playing PGA and I'm just, you know, not entirely having fun, just kind of going through the motions, just because it's a game that tracks well, it does good numbers for me on YouTube, so, like, that's why I'm keeping going with it. And I do like playing it most of the time, but I can't deny that, like, there are, there are extended periods of, of that game where I go through, like, slumps, and I just, like, really just think, like, oh, I can't, I just, like, want to fast forward through every shot and just get this over with. But Art of Rally, I genuinely enjoy playing it, and I wish more people did as well. I wish more people played this game and enjoyed it. But I think that, I think, I would find that if they played it, they would enjoy it. But, you know, there's a lot of racing game fans that are just absolutely sleeping on this. And that's kind of a disappointment, just because just because it doesn't have the art style or it doesn't have the car licenses that it, you know, the likes of like a Gran Turismo or a Forza or a, or a dirt game would have, doesn't make it any less good. Let's freaking send this thing down here. Old cars with only 4 speed gearboxes. Those called. I'll say, I, f I think. The fact that the cars aren't licensed means the art style of the game, and it's very minimalistic, is just extenuated by the fact that it doesn't have to be real. Like, sure, because it's a game that, like, bases itself on the history of the sport, so, like, there is still an element of realism involved, like, this, like all the cars are based on. Alright, first mistake of the round. Like, all of the cars are like based on real life models, so like they're still a little bit grounded in reality. But they still have like a certain amount of like creative liberty involved. And, like, there's an artistic license to do things a little bit different so that, you know, they don't get struck by like copyright strikes from like BMW or Lancia or whatever. Or I guess in Lancia's case, whatever's left of Lancia. I don't even know who owns that mark these days. But either way, the art style does the game a service by allowing by allowing that creative freedom, that creative liberty to, you know, take a bit of license with the cars as they used to be. Besides, when when you see the car, you know what you're driving, so it's not like it's not like it actively harms the game. Because if you're a fan of motorsports, then you you know what you're getting behind the wheel of. So like you don't need the real name to be there. Oof, mistake number two. That's uh, disappointing, hopefully it doesn't cost us too much time. Most importantly, we didn't go too far off track, so we didn't take a time penalty as well. Which can arguably be more harmful. Plus, you know, just those little handful of mistakes. Other than that, so far, I think I've done a good job with balancing, you know, rambling into a microphone with actually being locked in here. Oh, mistake number three. <laughs> 4.47. You know, could have been a much, much worse time. We're still in the top half of the leaderboard as it's so far. So that's totally fine with us. We have a repair stage coming up. A radiator's taking a couple of hits. In this house, we do not clean our car. We take the wear and tear off the stages with us to the very end. At least in an aesthetic point of view, anyway.
Of course, the soundtrack of this game absolutely slaps, so, like, any excuse I get to listen to more of this, I'll gladly take. <laughs> So far, not terrible. Ooh. A little bit tail happy this car. It is rear wheel drive. Like even though we're not going super fast, it is pretty. It is pretty easy to oversteer this. Yeah, just years and years of playing racing games just makes it can prepare you for this in terms of like getting your lines right around corners which let's be fair i didn't do there it didn't exactly hit the apex of the inside of the corner it's less important in rallying than it is in like say circuit motorsport but you know eventually like you spend years growing up playing like Gran Turismo and Forza Motorsport and stuff like, you eventually just get this ability to be able to read corners, you know where your braking points are, you know when the, like, your turning points to where they hit, hit the apex of the corners, and so on. Like, that, that can help you out in a rallying game, but for the most part it's not really that important, because it's you're so open, you're just, tr you're trying to hit the best times, but you know, the surface that you're driving on may not, you know, may not allow you to do that so easily or may put you in danger by going too fast, so... There is a term in, there is a term in rallying, and it's actually the name of one of the achievements in this game too, is uh, in order to finish first, first you must finish. Which, in a game that, you know, has terminal damage in it, is very important. Like, you do have to be careful not to, like, break your, like, completely, like, break your engine or break your car to the point where, you know, it will leave you unable to finish the game. That's, you know, why you have to take it a little bit careful, because you only repair your car between every two stages, remember. Run a little bit too fast into that one. Right. Around the corner, set. I don't feel like we're doing too badly in this stage so far. Sure, we're taking our time. We're being a little bit apprehensive. We're, we're playing a bit too careful. We're not really being super aggressive going going in and coming out of corners here. But uh, we're keeping between the ditches, and that's the most important thing. We're not putting ourselves in a position to where we can take a significant amount of damage. We're not risking taking time penalties. Because they don't be long adding up once you start racking up one or two of them, it really can put you in a bad position. It's a bit of bad oversteer there, but uh, we're still center of the track. Square left corner here. Almost finished the scores, we're 4 minutes 25. And finish. 431.958. Should see us move up a little bit. It's up to the top 45th percentile of drivers so far on this weekly challenge as we go into the final stage here. Mertesdorf. Another sunset stage. Six miles. Alright, let's send it and try and finish this out with a good time. If we can finish in the top 40% of players, we'll be doing pretty good. This is just for my own personal enjoyment, by the way. It's not really... I don't really view this as competitive. I just view this as, like, 
a really good excuse to like get a video with a Wednesday slot without having to think too much about what's going on. <laughs> Okay, something like that, a drift like that, looks good, but uh, does lose you a lot of time because you're just spinning your wheels instead of, you know, actually just moving forward. Pretty tight hairpin here. Expertly taken. Well, maybe not expertly because we, uh, we did do a little bit of sliding there and that was definitely not expertly taken. I think the top 40% dream is now dead because we lost a bit of time on that. Hopefully we can make it back up later. Maybe the front runners might make their own mistakes as well. And allow us to gain a little bit back. What a really nice game to play though. It's so good. It's so good! I guess the good... The bad thing about this being a weekly challenge means you're constantly timed. I don't even... I don't know and I'll be honest with you, I don't want to break my stride and I don't want to know whether you can pause the game in this mode. I feel like you probably still might be able to, but I don't want to risk it just because, you know, I'll have to go back and edit the pause out of the game. But I guess the good thing is that now that I know what track we're in, and now that I know what car we're in, I can just go into here in free mode and, you know, uh, make myself like a photo thumbnail for the week, because this game has like a really good photo mode in it. Because last week, last week I just took an existing photo mode thumbnail that I had before and made it the thumbnail, even though it wasn't the right car and it wasn't the right track. But I'd like to come back to this track here and you know, like, do like a good power slide around the corner or something, or something that looks nice, and be able to make like a proper thumbnail that ac accurately depicts like what is actually featured in the video. This I feel like it's a better sense of, you know, you're actually getting what you're seeing. Could probably have gone a little bit faster around that little bit of a segment, but you know what, we're driving safe, we're trying to make time back from a little clip of one of those earlier. So, you know, safe driving is good driving. We're not going to break four minutes on the stage. But, uh, I still think we're going to finish with a solid enough time. Four ways. That is fine. Top 45%. That's pretty, that's pretty fine. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, and that's that's gonna do it for us here. As we go in and just uh, check the leaderboard here one last time, as you can see, as you can see, the play now button has gone, and we can only check the leaderboard because you because it's a weekly challenge. You only get one chance, and one opportunity. If you muck it up, you can't go back. Try again next week. All right, so. Not good. Uh, almost an entire two minutes behind the front runner here, and an entire an, an almost a whole minute behind finishing out in the top ten, which is not great. Anyway, that's that's going to do it for this week. 
Uh, thanks again for tuning in if you don't tune in for the Art Rally content on the regular basis. Hopefully I'll be making this a recurring segment on Wednesdays at the usual time, 6pm. This music is freaking flooding here. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to try and make this a regular thing, Wednesdays at 6pm UK time, 1pm Central, same time as the golf, different day just. So yeah, uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next week for some more Out of Rally, tomorrow back with more golf. Take care, have a good one.